The title of my video is a bit of a misnomer because it's really not telling you how to restore every uh, old vintage antique clock. However, I wouldn't have been able to repair hardly any of them if it wasn't for the luck of discovering this book, which is what I want to give credit to in this video. Let me show you just some of the clocks that I've been able to repair. This one is a Telecron Striker. Here is a Hammond and another Telecron. Here's a Telecron Carriage Clock. Another Hammond. This is a Hammond Alarm Calendar Clock, which I just got and have yet to restore. Another Hammond and even a Seth Thomas Desk Clock. Here's a Hammond Mantle Clock, a Telecron Selector Clock, and another Hammond. But the very first clock that I got to restore is this Hammond Art Deco Gregory Calendar Clock. And I got it, it wasn't working, and really had no clue how to fix it, and figured, let me go on YouTube, there must be a video showing me how. And I wasn't able to find one, but what I did find was a book that really gave a step-by-step -step description of how to repair and restore these clocks. When I did find this book, Hammond Synchronous Clocks Maintenance and Repair by Craig Shields, I couldn't believe that it actually featured the clock that I had just gotten, which was this one. And this book is, you can consider it a Bible of clock repair because it lists step by step with photos of what you're looking at as you're taking your clock apart and if you follow this book you cannot go wrong in terms of repairing clocks and i've used the techniques in this to restore other clocks that were not hammonds as i've shown you in some of those photos another nice feature of this book is it's filled with uh, the schematics showing i guess what was the uh, patent uh, drawings of a lot of these clocks as well as some of the early ads that they were in. And it is well worth the money. You can find it on Amazon, and I highly recommend, if you're into trying to repair clocks on your own, this is, this is the book to have. Okay, have fun with it.